What's happening in Iran at the moment can't be allowed to continue and it would be completely un-Australian of me to stand back and stay silent. You know, nine months ago we saw Masa Amini lose her life for uh, no other reason other than she was wearing a piece of clothing to a substandard that somebody had designed. Um, and we continue to see people lose their lives every day in Iran. Iran has the highest rate of the death penalty executions in the world. And in many instances, these people are being executed for doing nothing more than standing up and doing what we take for granted every day in this country, speaking their mind, fighting for their families, fighting for a better community for everyone. So I feel very, very strongly about the fact that countries like Australia need to stand publicly with the Iranian people so they know they are not alone, that we are there to support them. Also, personally for me, I became involved in Majid Kazini's case um, earlier this year. His, his cousin Mohammed lives in my electorate and I met Mohammed and heard what was happening with Majid and it, it just blew my mind that anybody could be living with that circumstance. So enough is enough. These sort of crimes happen when people walk past them without comment and I refuse to walk past them without commenting. I want every woman, every person on this planet who is standing in the face of this deliberate fear campaign at the moment to know that I see them, I stand with them. If I could be there with them, I would be there with them and I am inspired by them. And I think that, you know, there's a saying that we should never doubt the capacity of a small group of people to achieve huge things. In fact, it's the only thing that ever has. And I believe that this sheer willpower, the courage we're seeing, the compassion we're seeing, this will move this mountain. And, you know, I, yeah, I just, I see you and I, my heart is with you.